All right, what's popping? Eight two one tips in. Um, today I'm gonna talk about something simple. It's gonna be talking about the oil change. You know, we're gonna refer specifically to the workshop manual on the 2015 8 2 So let's get into it. All right, so first part about changing the oil, they give us a diagram. So in this diagram, they show us the plugs that we need to remove, um, the filters that we also need to remove because behind this red plug, there's a there's a oil filter. Then we have the original oil filter, so let's get straight into it. So if you don't have a tool, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about pretty much torque pressures that you have to pretty much align with, so you can keep everything into spec. You don't over tighten anything. So right here, newton meters. If you're like living in uh, the United States and you use like, uh, how do, how do I say this? Uh, well, if you use like pounds per square inch, you just go right here, go on Google, put 11 newton meters to lb ft and it's around 3.6 pounds so it's really easy to convert stuff but that's besides the point now let's keep on following so we're going to remove the oil filter then we're going to remove the oil plug from the bottom this side oil plug and its washer has like this little o-ring next to it this yellow bar we have to also remove it so now now we're getting into the diagram of removing that oil filter and the washers and the plugs so as you can see everything is highlighted so it's pretty easy to like just like keep track you don't really have to replace this part right here damn I should get my highlighter tool all right you don't have to replace this part you just pretty much got to wash it out and make sure that it's clean it doesn't have any metal debris on it now after you're done removing all, all the oil and everything, you just top the bitch back up with oil. Make sure that it's level. So if you pass this little notch right here, let's see if I can magnify into it. All right, if you pass this little notch right here, you put too much oil. The bitch is going to have problems and she's going to feel too sluggish. So just remember that. And when you're adding oil, make sure to stand it up and have it completely erect so you can keep track of the oil. So you're going to add oil from this top end and then you're gonna measure down, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole oil replacement. So just keep track of everything that we're doing, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make quick little short tips, so if you like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, that's pretty much it, deuces.